Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hitman 2 where, check this out, check out what's happening at 47's feet right now. I found it. I found the, the, the hidden parried thing. I'll be honest with you, I spent about five minutes running around in these bushes because it was bugging the hell out of me. I knew it had to be back here, but I didn't want to spend any more time looking for it on camera. So, I found it. Uh, the good news is we found it. The bad news is I don't know where to get a shovel. So, there's like a, a public utility shed over there, right? That building beyond the fence. The place where we knocked out the real estate agent Damn. after we uh, after we poisoned him. Could be a shovel in there. If there's no shovel in here, then I'm going to start going through the, the sheds in people's backyards and stuff. What is what is going on here? Huh, apparently I'm suspicious to that guy even when I'm just dressed as me. Weird. Anyway, uh, I think that that gardener might actually be coming after us. Well, okay, that looks like a shovel to me. Is there anything else in here we can steal? We got some Fertilimax. Wow, that is some intense fertilizer. Uh, but no, nothing else. Alright, don't mind me. I'm definitely not taking this shovel back into the area where we have been requested not to dig things. Yep, that guy's just suspicious of me all the time. Okay. Well, good to know. Here's the gardener. I wonder if we're going to be able to dig this up safely with him being that close. Also, it's... Okay. It's like between the two birdhouse posts here. Or... I think it's between these two and not between those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Because it's by this big, like, open patch. Well, the gardener's looking away. That guy's looking away. I think we can do this. Oh, 47 just, like, stands all the way up to dig that. <laughs> okay, well, fortunately, he only has to put the shovel in the dirt the one time. A cigar what is, what do we got here? Cigars and a note inside. It is the third type of clue. This is very interesting. Okay, so the now we know where, we know two different spots to get the first kind of clue and two different spots to get the third one. 47, this could mean the constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. That might not be the safest way to go. So the uh, we now know Janus the clue that we get from this guy's shed here, we still only know we this is the only place that we know to get that. I think that's all we're going to get. But I don't think that's we're a big deal because that's a really, really easy one to, to get. This. Oh man, this is inconvenient. Guy's just gonna dick around on his phone over there forever. Right, can we get out over here? Also, Diana and Lucas sure are chatty sometimes. Alright, so we are on just one remaining objective, but unfortunately it's one I don't really have a good idea of how to go about. So it seems like uh, Janus's personal bodyguard has some kind of extrasensory perception or something. When we, no matter where we are when we shoot Janus, that guy immediately pinpoints us and starts shooting. Even if we're, like, on a balcony that he definitely cannot see from his current position. So I don't know how we're going to snipe this guy. The treehouse might be good enough, but uh, we'll never know because he just does not become visible from the treehouse very often. We could try to get into his house and pull an up-close shot, but... That puts us very, very near this guy that I'm worried about. Uh, you know, when he comes out onto his porch, he is raised up on that. Or, yeah, he's raised up. The porch is above the ground, right? Maybe if we stood far enough back, maybe like way over here, maybe we could see him as he leaves the, uh, leaves the door into the backyard. Let's see if I can get a bead on that. Yeah, his door's still visible from here. And I could just drop into the bush real fast if uh, if anybody gives me any trouble. There, it's that door. You know, I think this is going to work. Oh, he's at, outside right now. At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with you. Death feels like an easy way out. I think we're... 
I'm good. I think we're okay. Still. We are close, Let's just Sergeant. leave quickly. Both targets are dead. Did that actually work? Mission objectives are completed. I heard some gunshot sounds like immediately after I, I took the shot. I was a little worried that they were shooting at me already, but I think maybe we, maybe we got that. Please tell me that worked. Okay, awesome. Feeling pretty okay about that one. Three stars. Yeah, that's fair. I did. <laughs> I did shoot some people right in front of some other people. There are rules about these sorts of things. All right. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not. It's not awesome, but I'll take it. So that means we only have the one mission remaining here on our sniper tour of Hitman Two. I guess let's get to it. So this is going to be a tough one, especially if we want to remain in the suit. I really have no idea how to go about this. Uh, we did spend quite a quite a long time running around in here, so you would think I would have a better idea of their patrol paths. Do they go outside at all? They both go into the gallery room a bunch of times. So there's that um, that balcony where we had to interact with the computer to turn off the security for the necklace. If I was able to be up there with my rifle, we could maybe take one or maybe even both of them out that way, but honestly, my suspicion is that I would immediately get seen. There's a lot of people in that room. Uh, I don't really know. I think we're going to have to get in here and maybe uh, experiment a little bit. Get our ghost. We'll get our silver baller. Okay. I don't exactly know where the gatehouse is. The chapel is kind of awkward to access, I think. Let's try this. Let's let's see exactly where this drop-off is. So I think we're just going to bring our duck. Duck does some okay work. I definitely don't want to leave the lockpick behind. Uh, this is both creepy and really conspicuous. We need to blend in. How am I going to blend in? Aha. Uh -huh. This is what all rich people look like. Uh, you know what? I probably have more than one starting location opened. Ah, uh, but I want to make sure I'm in my suit. That said, there's not really a reason to start in the harbor, right? Because you end up just walking up from the harbor to the chapel. Well, you know what? Let's let's start at the harbor to see if there's maybe another way around the side of the island or anything. So this level has a lot of verticality. We could certainly get up pretty high and snipe down from there, but... Uh, because so much of the level is vertical, I wonder if we'll actually, like, we probably won't be able to shoot down at the areas we need to shoot at, because they'll be directly below us, right? You know what? We can get Zoe to walk outside during the, uh, during the effigy ceremony, right? Although, I had to introduce that ceremony and be present for the whole thing when I was the master of ceremonies. Maybe we could, uh, maybe we could find a way to motivate the real Master of Ceremonies to actually do the thing. That way we could stand at a safe distance and just shoot her when she comes out to, uh, to step into the giant bird. Uh, hold on. So that way, that way leads us to the place where the ceremony occurs. What else do we have over here? We can't go through here, right? Sorry, sir, I got orders. Yeah. All right, can we go around? Shit. The guest room is open. I'm going to get my ass fired. Know it. I'm sure it's fine. You're too busy playing shit. Well, I mean, we were probably going to have to deal with the security footage no matter what, so not a big deal. Staff only. Okay. What is going on in here? Throughout the castle, yeah. you know, hey. out of reach places like the ramparts. And the first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes a polygraph test with the chairwoman. If you're deemed worthy, you get promoted dark member. Hmm. Huh. I could do that. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Depends on your pain threshold, I guess. You see, 
Zoe Washington up the stakes this year. Word is, she's brought a CCTV device to this interview. Wait, electroshock? But that's torture. Some would call it therapeutic. Wow, I knew the twins were hardcore, but this takes the cake. Count me out. Some would call it therapeutic. Yeah, ECT is uh, totally just therapy, right? That is what the T stands for, so... After that, we're all going to engage in some good old-fashioned phrenology. Where does this go? Okay, there's an entertainer disguise out here. Probably I don't want to uh, mess with that. Also a castle walls key. And a great big viking axe for some reason. Well... I would like to play with the Viking Axe, but this is maybe not the moment for that. Monroe, the venture capitalist. He looked like a winner to you? Good evening. Paul's basically a decent guy. He's got honor, integrity, plays fair. When that Haven corporate services scandal broke, he was like the only trader in New York who came up clean. Imagine that. So, not a winner then. Precisely. All right, well... These people are so evil. They're so massively evil. Uh, how am I gonna... You know what we didn't figure out, though, really, is a way to get the other Washington sister outside. Uh, hey there. That's... Huh. Back here. Oh, yeah, I remember this room. Well, I think we're just going to spend some time looking around for a moment here while we search for an opportunity. Oh, you know what I should do is I should look at the uh, challenges first. Let's see if there are any sniper-specific challenges. So assassinate Sophia and Zoe after the Constant has escaped, because apparently you can just let the Constant escape, and it turns out fine. Uh, it looks like none of these are particularly... Wow, with an antique cannon, huh? Looks like none of these are particularly sniper-focused. Okay, well, how are we going to do... Ooh, hey, free apples. I mean, they're no apricots, but they'll do. Actually, I like, I like green apples quite a bit. I don't know. There might be a lot of types of green apples. I like Granny Smith apples quite a bit. Oh, I'm not supposed to be over here. Okay. Let's try not to get into any trouble right away. My suspicion is I'm not going to be allowed in here. Usually, if I have to knock, I, I am not allowed. Apologies, sir. This door is for initiates only. I'm sure you understand. Okay, well, if we went through with the uh, with the token thing, it is nice to know what those tokens are for, though. If we went through with the token thing, we might be able to go through there, maybe. Ah, huh, I thought I saw an interaction square over here for a second. Never mind. Well, you know what we didn't do? We didn't burn Zoe while her sister was still alive? Maybe... Maybe she would come running? Probably not. They don't really seem that sentimental. Hey. Oh, you know what? The, uh, the wake, right? What if we, uh, what if we made the wake happen? They're waiting for... Okay, we gotta get up there and figure out... How to make that happen. Uh, okay, honey. We might not be able to do this in our suit. That's possible. Because I remember the security in this area being pretty high. But I guess let's uh, let's explore a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. You see that guy with the cowboy hat? I told you I'd be blending in. Everybody's got goofy hats on. Alright, yeah. Let's look around here a little bit and see if we can't get into some trouble. Alright, I am apparently not supposed to be back here. You know what I need to do? I oop, that's a guy who will see me. I need to figure out where the cameras are. Or where the camera control is. Oh, that guy's coming. Excuse me. This is a private area. 
Oh yeah, that's my bad. You should uh you step up to the plate, man. Just show me what to do. I, I should probably. If you're for something to do, you could go apprehend the trespasser I just saw. Sorry, it's yep, that's my sorry. bad. I just, uh, you know, I didn't know that that was not a place where I was allowed to creep around in a spooky crouch walk. Hey. There, it's not my fault, really. There were no posted signs, so. Just gonna run right back over there immediately. Okay. Let's try this again. Apparently, I can't hang out here while I'm thinking. Run across as fast as possible. Okay. That's really creepy. Wait, is that a door? It looks like it's set into a frame. I thought for sure this would be a thing I could pull to make that open. No, I guess there's more than one of them in here. Alright, so... We need to get up to the wake and remember how that storyline works. Oop. Oh, there's a... We can go upstairs. Probably not really going to be able to go anywhere else. Let's uh, let's drop the briefcase right here for now, since we're not going to be able to take it up the ladder with us anyway. Did I ever tell you about my mission to Egypt? The Eye of Horus Okay. All right, we're cool. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. place is in remarkably poor repair, considering the, uh, extreme amount of money in the premises. Okay, well, this is bad. It's a lot of guards. Climb through this window, maybe? It's a big-ass helicopter. I don't know if this is actually helpful. What's over here? Oh. Oh, hey, that's the Master of Ceremonies. Okay. All right, I know where we are now. Sort of. I know I know where we are relative to the statue, anyway. Oh, wait a minute. That's the, uh... That's the security camera thing. Not that we could access it. Yeah, I think we might have to be okay with not doing this one in the suit. If I could get... Well, I mean, I can get outside, right? There's a window right here. Let's, uh, let's... Let's creep as far forward as we can with our suit on. You know what? I'm gonna go and get my... I think I'm okay to climb down the ladder. I'm gonna go get my gun back. Because we can't get caught up here anyway. It will not be any worse if I'm carrying my gun. Actually, I guess that's not true. They'll just show me to a safe place right now. If I'm carrying the gun, it will be worse. Yeah, let's leave the gun behind for now until I know what I want to do with it. Such a okay, well, there's a huge number of people out here. Where am I going to go? I was thinking about, like, you know, trying to get over that way. A little concerned about the number of cameras I can just like the number of cameras I can even see from here. I appreciate how extremely obvious the lights on them are if you're actually watching for them. Those guards go any further on no, they just walk back and forth in front of the helicopter. Okay, that's uh not so bad. I wonder if we could make it across to there without being seen by those guys. When the guards turn around, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm pretty sure we want to be that way if we're going to get to the uh, funeral area. Ooh. Go back to what you were doing. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, well, that was harrowing. Oh, there's guys right there. Jesus, well, they're facing away from me. As soon as the guards turn back around, I'm going to make a run for those boxes, and then we can climb through that window or something. I don't exactly know, but obviously I need to not be here. This map is really hard to get around on. 
with just your suit. Oh, there's like hey, a thousand guys over there. Yep. Oh, I, gee, I couldn't have known. I thought this was the public helipad. I said that facetiously, but you know what? There's definitely a, at least one public uh, helipad here, right? Shoot, I think the... I think the wake is right over there. But I don't know how I'm going to get over there, man. Also, I wonder if the fact that we got spotted trespassing by a security camera while we were being escorted out of a uh, trespassing area is going to count against us, is going to count as me being spotted. Uh, Alright, what about over here? The way we got upstairs last time was by going through this way. Now, obviously, I'm not allowed over here, but... Did you hear him compliment my hat? It is a very nice hat. Can we, like, get around? I'm not allowed to even be here. Okay, alright, this is working. Uh, this goes down, though. Down is not where I want to go. Uh, that looks like a climbable drain pipe over there. If we wait these guys out... And then get over there. Man, I really should go get my briefcase, huh? Yeah, alright. I'm gonna turn around and go back. What is this? Oh, free brick. Cool. I should get my briefcase before we do this, because we are potentially going to end up a very, very long way from where we started here. Although I won't be able to take it with me if I have to climb anyway. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to turn around and we're gonna keep going. If it turns out that we find the place and we can't, uh, we find a good place to do the thing and we can't access our gun, at least this is the information we will have for the next attempt. Alright, it seems like they walk pretty far down. Alright, so we can climb up here. Looks to me like there's not anywhere else to do it, really. I'm gonna wait for them to walk past. I'm not sure they would see me if I tried to climb here, but I'm also not sure they wouldn't. Right, like right as they walk past, they might be able to see me out of the uh, their peripheral vision. Okay, let's go. Alright, free hammer. This area looks... Oh, that's climbable. What is up even further? Well, if nothing else, a sniper perch. Oh, here's that cannon. Yep, pointed directly at the effigy. Okay, I can see how that would work. Yeah, if we could make the wake happen, I bet the Washingtons will both come out to it. And it's outdoors. It's, yeah, it's over there by that, uh, those standing stones, I think. So we could probably get them both there. It's just a matter of figuring out what we need to do to actually make that happen. And also being patient enough not to get caught by any of these guys. As we have all seen, patience not exactly my strongest suit. You saw nothing. Okay. Back to real life. You come over here, I promise you, you will not be happy that you did. Boy, you couldn't drink while, like, facing that direction, maybe? Alright, we gotta go now.
So that's a place where I believe there is a console for deleting security footage. Which is a thing we do have to do at some point. Turn off the fuse box and lure a guard out here, but that doesn't really solve our problems. Yeah. One guard. Uh, I don't know that we want to go up here, actually. Can we just go around this place? Nope. We're going up either way, huh? And that is very inhospitable over there. Can we just climb? Nope, I can't climb over and, like, hang by my fingers all the way across the, uh, across the wall. Well, how are the guards actually positioned up here? Oof. In a way that makes this an untenable entrance. I guess we're using the ladder after all. Not actually optional. Well, I should probably have gotten seen there. No, 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 no. What are you doing here? Ah, it's damn it. Oh, I thought I thought these were the uh, the public battlements. Just a little more range. Man, he's gonna walk me super far away too. This Good is job, bad. Just keep moving. I like the way he congratulates me on my ability to follow him slowly. That's good, sir. We'll be out of here right away. Yep, that's right. Keep walking, please. Yeah, this is inconvenient. I shouldn't have just gone. I thought I had an opening, though. That's good. Please keep the pace. We're all clear, sir. Enjoy your day. Uh-huh. Okay. I am told that that does not negatively impact your uh, don't-get-seen objectives, but it sure seems like it should, right? Because there will be plenty of guards who are like, oh, yeah, I remember that one guy who got caught breaking the rules several times. Maybe he's responsible for all the horrible things that happened. How far past me do these guys actually walk? I'm gonna go. I think we have time. Down, 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 down. Yep. Definitely didn't have time for that. You know, it's almost like these guards don't have any interest in what my plan was or making my life easier. Can you believe? Just the, the poor manners they were raised with. Their parents must be mortified. All right, we're going to try this again, but I'm going to be a little bit more careful about it. We might have to, like, throw a coin or something to buy ourselves enough time to make a, uh, a clean getaway across the bridge there. Uh, this sucks. I can't actually see the position of the guards. I'm trying to get vision of them at all. Yeah, you just kind of have to hope that you're good to, to make it across. Alright, so this guy is the one who saw me. He walks... Oh, he walks all the way over there. Okay. That's inconvenient. At that distance, I'm worried he might actually be able to see me right here. I'm gonna cross to this. This is probably better. Man, that guy is really taking his time. Well, my guess is that we are not, in fact, going to have to use a coin or anything. I just have to go as shortly after this guy arrives at his post over here as possible. 
I think we're cool. That is remarkable. That guy's vision is, is unbelievable. Oh, dear. Well, this is bad. He coming over here? He is coming over here, so I do have to be... Okay, I do have to be hidden. Oh, no. No, 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 you can't see anything. You can't see anything. I could These guys have to go away. This is terrible. This is very difficult. Alright, turn around and walk back. Okay. I think we're probably better off approaching from here, right? Maybe not, honestly. This just sucks. This is just a crappy approach. That's really where we're going. So we have to make it around the backside of all those boxes to that ladder. I mean, that's probably pretty doable. The difficult part is going to be getting down there safely. While I'm up here, they can see me from down there. They'll definitely catch me if I start climbing. Uh, this might be our moment, though. This might be the opening. Oh, you actually can't get down here. Okay, well... I guess we are using the stairs. Wait, who on earth was seeing me while I was all the way over here? And how? Okay, he's not actually coming up, though. So we have to find a way, we have to find a timing to get down there. Let's, uh, let's get our coins ready. We may have to make a, a little bit of a hole here. Okay. Close to the wall. Okay, actually, we're good. That guy getting distracted like that is probably really good for us. Ah, you uh, you're kidding me. Sir, I need you to follow me, please. Why did that guy have to turn right at that moment? Okay, it's not a, not, not an item I can pick up. I'm currently following you. And we might have to give up on our dream of doing That's this in the good, suit. We'll be out of here right away. It's pro it's doable. But uh, I might not be able to do it. It can be done, and it can be done by me are two pretty different things. Hey, you, I'll take this. Good job, sir. Just keep moving. I am actually right now following you. He's shouting at me. That's you know how rich I probably right am away. if I'm here? You're going to regret this. I think I'm just going to take this guy out. That's good. Please keep the pace. Uh, nope. Can't do it down here. Yep, that's right. Keep walking, please. I could do it once we're in the, uh, the covered area here, probably. Good job, sir. Just keep moving. There is a spot to hide a body right there. Nobody turn. Nobody turn. Well, I just heard I see him. I don't know who saw him. Kind of seems like nobody could have seen me. I, I might go so far as to say they objectively did not see me. Alright, well, this is probably a good time to restart. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. There was a shout of I see him, and then they all kind of wiggled around in place for a while. Not really the reaction that I was expecting, if I'm being honest. I mean, here's the thing. I was trying to get through there without creating a bunch of bodies and havoc and stuff, but you don't actually have to leave everybody standing. I could take people out and just not become them. I know it seems somewhat antithetical to the Hitman experience to not become everyone you have the ability to become, but maybe I just have to get a little bit more aggressive with the, uh, with the knockouts there. Looks like we could just climb up right here. Shortcut a lot of this whole process. 
I'm going to go for it. We are not getting caught. And if we do get caught, it's, you know, we're going to deal with it. Because it's going to have to be dealt with. All right, is this... Where is this? Where actually is... Wait a minute, where am I? I'm on the other side of the security shack? That's the bridge I, I had to run across. Huh. So wait, what is this room? Oh, this room's where my pickup is. I might actually be able to... Oh, hold on. Close this. There was a window, wasn't there? Yeah. I might actually be able to get through this room okay. God, we're close to them. Where's my pickup? It's in that crate there. Alright, give me this duck. And also this muffin, boy. These things do seem to be, like, propagating, huh? I don't remember there being so many on our first run through the game. Oh, right. There's guys right there. Okay. This is this is totally doable. This is a way faster route than we took the first time. I make it. Okay. That's probably okay. Kind of wish he'd actually gone over there. This is kind of working out. I will say that uh, this type of play feels very satisfying when it works. It's just that uh, <laughs> there's all the other times as well to worry about. Alright, so I'm going to wait here until that guy who has his back all the way turned to us right now, in the back there, comes back to us and then walks away again. Because we need to know that we have enough time to make it up that ladder without him turning around. Also, that other dude is shining his shoes so, uh, so vigorously. I'm concerned he's going to go all the way through and start just scrubbing skin off. I get it. I get this reference. That won't be a relevant test. You're a lot bigger than a swallow. I get it. Airspeed velocities, etc. I've seen movies. Okay, we are about to have our moment. He turns around and now we go. I'm a little concerned about what we're going to find when we get up here. Okay. Never mind. It looks pretty clear. Looks remarkably clear. Oh, this is a gargoyle we can knock off. Uh, presumably that could be valuable to us. I don't really know where we would want to use that. Alright, I might actually save it here. I'm just thinking that uh, this is probably not going to be the run anyway. And if we save here, we can come back to this. Uh, so we can we can experiment here. We can try some that stuff. That must be Janus's casket. Looks like the Archeans really admired him, but no body. Yes, yeah, so they're not holding the ceremony because something something is awry. We need to fix that something, to make the ceremony happen. I do not remember what it was. What? Are they chatting about it down there? All oh, right. Uh, and there's Zoe Washington. Uh, 
just what I need. Okay. So there's a dagger in a crate somewhere that needs to be moved to a basement where the body is being kept. We could actually get Zoe pretty easily without having to do this, it looks like. Because she just wanders around over here. But I believe her sister stays up in the building. We're gonna we're gonna need I think we're gonna need to do this to get the other Washington into a snipable position. I don't know where we're going to take the shot from, but let's solve one problem at a time. Let's try to make it so it can actually, we can actually get them over here first. A dagger in a crate. Is there a part of the map that is marked as like, well, that says warehouse. I was thinking like a storage room or something. Security room. It's an ancient dagger, so it like, it being in a crypt is not a crazy idea or some catacombs but a crate number they said a crate number. i bet they're keeping it in the warehouse where where am i relative to the warehouse i am here uh that looks like non-trivial to get to so this is the effigy stage that's the chapel the helipad okay so if we could get over to this area that we were in earlier but actually make it across to this area we could do that. Uh, could I? How much of this am I allowed to be in? Because we walk through. Let's see. We arrive over here. Right? I walk this way and then up here to the effigy stage. So, no, I'm not allowed over here. Not in the suit, anyway. Alright, well, let's see how much further we can push this in uh, without having to change clothes. And go around the back of this. Ooh, okay. We're high up. Okay, well, I mean, this goes... So oh, oh boy. Oh, nope. Don't walk out of the bushes. This okay. is bad. Everything's good. Bad. Okay, no, he's not going to come over here. Everything's fine. So that, well, that takes you up pretty high. That's not where we need to go, right? Hold on. Where is that? That is a tower. But it's not that far from the warehouse. No, wait. The tower that I'm looking at is behind us. That's this. Right? It's to my right. Yeah. Yeah. That's this thing right here. So that's really not that far from the warehouse. We might be able to make this work. This is that other tower I was looking at. I'll tell you what, though. I might get myself in some trouble going for this, but I'm kind of curious about this book. Nope, it is not actually interactable. Never mind. And if the guards find me, I am so very dead. How high up do I actually want to be? Oh, there's people up there. Hold on, what if I what if I just did this? Where does this go? Okay, I don't think this is an area that's going to be helpful to us, but it is interesting. Also, man, there are so many loose bricks. Also, a loose shovel. Why is there a shovel over here? Also, what is... what is in there? You know, I don't think that's as spooky as it, as I thought it was. It's just there's a purple window in there, and it's giving everything a real spooky cast. Alright, I suppose we want to go back toward the warehouse area. I don't think we've actually been in the warehouse. I don't remember there being a warehouse. Okay, let's see about this. 
Okay, I'm not allowed to go to the left here. Walk away from that guy a little bit. I guess if we want to go left, I have to go up another level, which means I probably have to be wary of the guards over there. This is a, uh, a complicated and dangerous approach that may not be worth all the effort. <laughs> I think we're a little faster walking. This is terrifying to me, by the way. Do not like this at all. Well, this does move us in the direction, I believe, of the warehouse area. Yeah, we want to cross over to this building. Wait, the warehouse is below where I left my suitcase. I may be dramatically overcomplicating this. I think I think I might be taking a really long path to a place we were really close to. I do wish that the doors wouldn't automatically open. I want it unlocked. I did not want it open. All right, how are we do? Oh boy, this feels this feels really dumb. This feels like a stupid thing to do. No, do not climb through. Oh, I can't. I can't go past it. Shoot. Uh, if I got up onto the roof, I don't have a way up there. Yeah, that would be a heck of a jump. Uh, crap. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. I don't really have a way of avoiding this. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, well, I have no idea where I am now. Have I been in here before? Oh, interesting. You know what I don't know is, can you shoot through these? I guess you wouldn't be able to both look through it and have the gun aimed through it, right? If the barrel's up to it, the scope is just going to see the wall. Honestly, potentially a place where we could just, like, snap off a shot at Sophia Washington, if it comes to that. I'm really into this idea of, uh, of making the wake actually happen now, though. It looks to me like we're going to have to go way, way back. I want to wait for that guy. Okay, I got to go away. So we actually could go quite a bit higher on this drain pipe. I do not think that it benefits us in this situation, in this moment, to uh, to do that. But this is certainly interesting. Oh, that is bad. This is a bad time for that guy to be right there. I need to get down so that I don't get seen by the guards on the floor above. Okay, there we go. I'm kind of curious what's in here, too. It seems like there's a lot of... Wow. Oh, this is where we are supposed to be taking the dagger once we have it. Okay. This is really creepy. That's not a person in the corner. What is... Is that his shroud? Ooh. Creepy. Okay. Uh, you should have brought the dagger down by now. I'm on it. Sort of. 
I will eventually be on it. So we need to go... Yeah, alright. I need to get inside. It's Boy, it's probably going to be much harder to move around inside than it is out here, too. So when that guy turns around, we'll try to head down uh, this little hallway if we can't get indoors. Oh, those guys are... Those guys are looking right over here. Please stop paying attention. Well, back to my usual boring existence. Wow. Right to her face while you're talking to her, huh? Oh, Jesus. Nope, bad. Real bad. That's a bad thing. Okay, how did I get down? Can I get back up, please? I need, I need to go back around. Yeah, it definitely seems like this is the harder way to go for this. So what I probably should be doing, honestly, maybe is restarting. I suppose, actually, if I just want to get out of here, I could ditch the rifle somewhere and get caught trespassing, have them escort me out, and then just come back for my rifle later once I have the dagger. Is there a faster way out of this area? I'm relatively confident that my uh, that my rifle would not be molested if we left it in the bushes up there. Thing is, if I'm wrong about that, it could be really bad. But I think if I leave it like over here, it should be it should be fine. In fact, I'm gonna put it down here. This is an area where nobody goes. So I'm trespassing. I am not in a hostile area. So actually, I'm just going to reveal myself to these guys. Uh, excuse me. I was looking for the bathroom, and I am extremely hey, lost. You are trespassing. I have never been so lost in my entire life. Sure, this place is a me. labyrinth. Look at that. Look how helpful he's being. I really want to go over there and interact with whatever's on that podium, but I think it probably would be a bad idea at this moment. This is what happens when business people... That's good, sir. Here, so we'll be out of here right away. Very much involved in the plan. She even had a rare relic shipped from the Ark of the Legacy. Okay, yeah, I think... That's right. Keep walking, please. I think this is... This is a better move than trying to get back out myself. And we can certainly get That's back good. in. Please keep the pace. Boy, he's really... he's walking me pretty far out here. Yep, that's right. Keep walking, please. That's good, sir. We'll be out of here right away. Uh, is he taking me to the dungeon? Don't come back, sir. Thanks. Wow, harsh. Where the hell am I? Oh, we're here again. Okay. Uh. So, where is the warehouse relative to this? The warehouse is on level three. It's like, in the same place as the effigy stage. I don't have access to the gallery, I'm pretty sure. Let's uh let's let's go upstairs a little bit. We'll go up up by the effigy. I don't exactly know where all of the parts of the map uh the you know the parts of the level that we've seen what parts of the map they correlate to. All right. So right now we are pretty close to it. No, we're not really that close to it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go up and across the helipad. It looks like the only way. That is a terrifying proposition. Okay, here's a question. 
Is it better for me to try to go around the side? Is that a thing I can do? Hmm. Looks like maybe not. I kind of want to take these two guards out and just have a give myself a little ability to explore. When this guy walks away from the other guy again, I think I'm going to go for him. Easy. Alright, we should probably hide the bodies. There's a body box. Yeah, right there. I remember this area a little bit. Whoa. Uh, 47, you feeling okay? Alright, I know we haven't actually successfully sniped anybody yet, but I do feel like we're making really good progress here. I mean, I suppose I may as well take the pistol. I don't know what use it has, but I also don't think it's valuable to not take it. Oh, hey, there's the cannonball. Okay, really important to know for the future when we try to do that thing. So we can climb up this way. Or can I get over, can I get over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Can I just climb up the wall? Indeed I can. Alright, maybe I can just creep all the way around the helipad like this. Here's a spot where you could get up if you were so inclined. I do not believe that I am. Oh, never mind. I can't move anymore. I guess I am so inclined. You know what? When those guards turn around... Oh, actually, yeah, the mechanic might be a problem. What is the mechanic's other position here? Okay. I mean, this is an opportunity for us to get behind this set of crates. And then I want, I want the guards to be facing this way, but that guy to be in his other position to move around the other side of the helicopter. And I think from, here, from there we can probably make it. guys are kind of uh, awkwardly synced, it seems like. Well, once again, I could use a coin or something to adjust their paths. Honestly, I might be okay here. I'm just going to go for it. There's a card right there. Shoot. Go, 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 go. Okay. I barely made it, but I made it. I need that guy to not be right there. Wow, that is a large stone head. Oh, that's a problem, too. What the hell is that? Okay, that drew a little bit more attention than I was hoping for. Hi. Mister, you are currently trespassing in a Okay, it's not area. a big deal. It's not a big deal. You need to follow me right now. No questions. Move it. Next time we do this, we can shoot that camera from significantly further away. Okay, yeah, this is extremely yeah. doable though. I knew you weren't really a troublemaker. No, no. Look at this face. It's so honest. Looking good. Just keep walking. It's true, I am looking good. I'm going to intentionally try not to walk in that camera's field of view. Good job, son. Keep going. Look at that. Evaded it. Maybe I didn't have to shoot that camera at all, actually. They seem to be kind yeah. of terrible at their jobs. I knew you weren't really a troublemaker. That's good, sir. We'll be out of here right away. Okay. That was it, sir. You're free to go. The good news is, that is extremely reproducible. 
and obviously we won't need to uh, won't need to stress about that camera this time because it is already down. And then we're in the warehouse. I don't know exactly what to do from there, but then we're in the warehouse at least. I could turn off the floodlights and that would make somebody come over here, but I don't want to risk this guy choosing to come through this way, right? That could be really, really bad for us potentially. Oh, this looks like a promising moment. Uh, that's... Uh, that's making me a little nervous. Why don't we maybe try to... adjust this guy's wow. vision cone a little bit. Oh, nope. I wasn't thinking... Of course the guards are going to turn around, too. Well, never mind that. Okay, cool. Free money. I'm going to try turning this off. Let's see which, which direction he walks around. Come on, go around to your left. And do it in a real hurry. No, he's coming around this way. Okay, that's actually really bad. Like, really bad for us. Hey, you! Get out of here, right? What the hell did you just do? Hold it right there! Oh, this looks like the bad kind of I got caught. Why are they not trying to escort me out? Huh? Okay. What is... Prime noticed. Oh dear. Nice and easy. I know you just turned off that power source, you maniac. Alright, we're just gonna, uh... Obviously, this is not the run, but we're gonna try to get into the warehouse area real quick. Oof. You know, I didn't have to shoot the camera at all, did I? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so there's a lot of boxes. I mean, yeah, this looks like a warehouse. Hold on a second. What is this? This right here. This is exactly... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Don't climb through. Can I access this from a different side of the building or a different place? Okay. Okay. I could access it from up there. That's interesting. How do I get up there? Where is up there? Okay, actually, this looks like it's probably not useful to me. Well, hold on. Where does this go exactly? Oh, this is... This is an area that took us a very long time to reach last time we were here. Hold on a second. What is this room? This room is a place with the creepy purple light. I mean, let's go ahead and climb through. We have a gramophone here. Jeez. Huh. Apparently they can see you when you're crouched behind that. Uh, well, I guess since we're not keeping this anyway, it'd be really cool if I could uh, take a minute and look around here, so maybe all the people who are shooting at me could just die. Oh, Jesus. I am taking fire from multiple angles. Okay, not exactly the smoothest thing I've ever done there. That is some kind of grenade. Oh, that's that kind of grenade. Jesus, that's a lot of dudes. Yep, I ran into a box. The thing is, uh, the flashbang went off right in front of us. And it didn't even really blind me that much. I just ran into a box a lot. Okay, uh, well, you know, we're at the hour, but 
I hope you'll all forgive me. I'm very interested in where this is going. We're going to push on just a little bit. We almost made it into the warehouse. I can totally do this. So we're going to... That must be Janus's casket. Drop Still, off our rifle again. Body. This is a little inconvenient. I, I wonder, we might almost be better off just restarting fresh, but I'm going to do it this way. Drop off the rifle here. We'll come back for it. Because uh, I, I have to come over here anyway to deliver the knife, right? So worst case scenario, no matter what happens, I still have to come back here. I'm so concealed. This way is in the direction of the warehouse, right? Not really, no. That's Zoe Washington right there. The urge to just shoot her is somewhat enormous. Oh, that's the... Well... Right, security camera in the gallery. Because, of course, there would be. A psycho! You'll die if you don't... That's it. That's it. Hands over your... I, I'm gonna restart, restart. And I'm just gonna see if I can't figure out a way to get us into the, uh, the warehouse. I think it's probably easier to do from the beginning of the mission than from where we planted that save point. Uh, that save point turns out not to be super useful for this kind of experimentation. You know, uh, we didn't look over here at all. Hi. Hello. I am definitely not allowed in there. But I'm like really curious what's in there. Alright, doesn't matter for now. Let's stay a little bit focused. Just a tiny bit more than usual. We're gonna try this helipad thing one more time. <laughs> I am relatively sure I can get across the helipad. What we're gonna do once we're actually in the warehouse area, I don't exactly know. I guess we're gonna pop some crates open. I probably need a crowbar for that. Well, it's a warehouse. I bet there's a crowbar in there somewhere. So, would I be better off just going up here and going out the window? Can't really take the briefcase with me anyway. No, nah, I'm going to take these guys out and try to go around the outside. I think it's the right thing to do. So I did notice while we were crawling around on the wall outside the warehouse uh, that there is a ledge that extends back toward the helipad. I wonder if I could do a little bit more of that hanging off the side, which is a little bit safer. Silent attack. It actually is remarkably silent now. Maybe a little too silent. Okay. 47 has a real problem with me grabbing that coin while he's while he's dragging a body. Causes some kind of convulsion. You know, it used to be you could uh, you could grab items that only took one hand to pick up while dragging a body, and it just uh, worked just fine. Seems to not so much be the case anymore. So at the moment, it is kind of looking like the path we're pursuing here could be done in the suit. Now, I can make this a whole lot easier by just, like, disguising myself as a guard or something. And maybe I should. Okay, if those guards turn around, I might just go for the, uh, the other set of boxes right away here. 
Oh. Hey, that guy is looking. That. You're embarrassing yourself. But I'm certainly not trespassing. Yeah, no, I should not go for it while this guy is here. If the guards were in the other position and I threw a coin over, uh, it wouldn't turn them directly toward me. Come on, turn around. This is going to be a little awkward. These guys are synced in a really frustrating way. But I'm not going to make that, right? That's extremely within his field of vision. Uh, let's try throwing the coin further this way. Huh? Yeah, doable. Stand back, please. I will investigate. Okay. Stand back could be a very dangerous coin. Uh, I can't drop down over the ledge here. Trying really hard. <laughs> Pressing the button as many times as I possibly can. I'm just going to go. Okay, so I want to avoid the camera. I think I can. I think I can just do this. Oh, maybe I cannot, in fact, go around the, the edge there. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You are kidding me. All right. That door closed. The door's probably closed. I'm... I just want to see what's going on in here. Leave me alone. All right, so there's a coin. That's not really that helpful. Uh, that tablet is not actually interactable. Okay, dagger acquisition note. Signed by Chairwoman Zoe Washington to retrieve one of the relics stored in the Ark, a priceless dagger which belonged to Tsar Nicholas. Janus donated it to the Ark Society's collection of priceless historical artifacts, but his last will and testament decrees that he wears it. Okay, so this was not useful at all. There is a crowbar here. And, yep, just crates that you break open. And then we find cool stuff in there. Okay. I'm gonna hide in this box. Yeah. We're just gonna uh, wait out the searching. It actually looks like they're not gonna come inside. I think maybe they're responding mostly to the guy who got shot out there. Come on, do you read? Well, I'm glad that I didn't jump out of the box when I said, oh, hey, it looks like they're going to stay out there. We are unfortunately just stuck here if we want to if we want to keep exploring. Kind of wish we could fast forward this part because I'm as far as I know, I am 100 percent perfectly safe here. We just have to wait. So I guess what it is from here is just creeping around. You know what I really want to do? I want to go over to that window that we climbed out of earlier. And uh, and see if there is in fact a way to get to that ledge from the, heli the helipad area. Because it seemed like there should be, but then I couldn't, I couldn't uh, dismount anywhere in the helipad. Alright, so we gotta have one more guy drag a body out. I assume that's what he's doing. Yeah, there he goes. Then after that body gets moved, I think we're okay to climb out. Yes, his searching status went away. These guards are remarkably incompetent. Now, the dangerous thing is the two guards who dragged bodies could potentially path back through here on the way to their normal positions. We'll have to keep a little bit of an eye on the minimap door is not closing. No? Okay. This. Right, this looks like it should connect over to the helipad. 
Oh, I'd have to press up against the wall there. I was trying to climb down here. Okay. So yeah, this is the way we want to enter next time. We want to come in through this window to avoid the thing that just happened. Yes, there's more boxes in this room that has considerably more people in it. And I'm sure that uh, opening a box is not not a silent action. So this looks like it will be non-trivial. Cannot climb up on here. Yeah, man, getting a hold of this dagger is going to be a little tricky. Probably technically doable in the suit, but maybe not worth doing in the suit. Let's see what happens if I try to open this. No, they actually don't respond. That's a full-size katana. Also, apparently there's nine crates. I assume that, that this achievement, uh, this challenge that I'm two of nine on is open all the crates. Or maybe it's just open all the crates that have stuff in them. Maybe there's more than nine, but only nine of them have uh, actual gear. Don't want to get caught by that patroller when I pop this open. Uh, now, my guess is that the stuff in the crates is uh, probably semi-random. Okay. I do believe that is our guy. A funeral dagger of Russian origin. So if I would, man, if we, if you were going to try to actually clear this room out, it would be quite a task. There's a camera there, two armed guards, and three other personnel. You saw nothing. I'm going to bury you with this dagger buried in your face if you come over here. He's considering it. He thinks it's a very good dagger. Okay. Now, this guy over here is looking in this direction. So this is not safe to do. Oh, no, I made it through. Ah. Huh. Why is there just a big pit? Why are rich people so into giant pits? Oh, that's not good. Kind of seems like uh, climbing down and climbing along the edge of the pit here might be a pretty viable path. Boy, that gets low. Why? Why is this here? Please don't, please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Interestingly, I'm not trespassing while I'm hanging down there. I'm actually allowed to be over there. Kind of thinking we could just clean up this challenge real quick, you know? Oh, hey, uh, circumcision knife. Cool. Well, something tells me we're not going to be able to get any more progress done without interacting with some people in this room, if you know what I mean. Got away. That is not ideal. All right, quickly, quickly. Oh, crap. Who's on my six? I need backup. That is a didgeridoo. That is not useful to me. Come in. Anybody there? Come in. Also, I totally missed a uh, security camera.
shoot. Well, that's loud gunfire. That's gonna draw some attention. Must find rest of crates quickly. Free castle key. I want to keep using the silenced pistol because I can limit the amount of extra guards if I'm if I'm quick with it. Man, that guy was remarkably hard to shoot. Quickly, quickly. That's seven. There's nobody here. You certainly don't want to mess with the katana man. The katana is the ultimate stealth weapon. Stealth! Okay. <laughs> wow, I am a bad shot. Yep, like I was saying, bad shot. Okay. Two more crates, two more crates. I might be out of crates in this room. Oh, no, that's, that's totally one I don't have yet. Oh, dear. Well, okay, we're... Ah, I was so close. All right, we'll get that challenge at some point. I think this is probably a good place to stop. We've made a lot of good progress. We have a plan now. I don't know exactly how we're going to execute it. My guess is probably not entirely in our suit, but we're going to get there. That's going to have to be it for us for today, though. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time for the successful sniper assassination of Zoe and Sophia Washington, possibly. And we'll see you then.